Hey there friends, in today's video we are going to be working with multiple desktops. I'm going to show you how to enable them on any of your MacBooks. Now I'm going to be working with a MacBook Air for this video, but it'll work very similar with any MacBook running the latest OS at the time of this video. All right, let's get started. Okay, so please forgive the bad footage using the phone on uh, my screen here, the screenshot function. It just uh, doesn't allow us to show you the hotkeys that enable us to do this. Now this is gonna be, again, the quickest way to enable uh, this option. Again, the reason we're doing this is, let's say I have a spreadsheet open here, calculator, doing some, uh, some obviously some work in spreadsheets on this desktop, and maybe I wanna have a whole separate desktop area with other applications. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to my mission control button. In this case, it's F3 on my MacBook. And I'm gonna click on that. Immediately you can see that this shifts into a different kind of screen showing us exactly what windows are open on this specific desktop. Now, if we look up here at the top, we can actually see that we have multiple options for desktops and it'll show you the number of different desktops we have. In this case, I only have one. So what I'm gonna do is come over here to this little plus button and I'm just gonna drag over here and I'm going to click on that plus. When I click on that, immediately we get another desktop area to work with. So now I can select between these two different ones. I'm gonna click on desktop two. And as you can see, it immediately gives us another desktop space. Again, all of your icons and things like that that are down uh, over here, these are the uh, the kind of icons that always show up on your home screen. Those are always gonna be there. Again, you can have multiple workspaces simply by hitting that hotkey, the little mission control launcher, and then going up to the top, and as you can see, we've got multiple desktops here. As long as I push that plus button, we'll continue to get more and more options. So that's a great way, again, of separating specific applications that you want to work with, maybe within certain windows and will give you the space to do that without clogging up your desktop. Friends, I hope this has helped. If it has, would you guys hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button too because we've got a lot more Mac tutorial videos coming up really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.